Many types of auto gyro currently on the market. Italy, another great centre of production with the Magni Gyro company producing its wares. Coming towards the end, absolutely brilliant. He really is a most refreshing addition to the display circuit, flying very much in the spirit of the late Ken Wallace. Well, the aircraft for our next display item. Three major engines in harmony, which is a lovely sound. There we are, starting to get airborne. Jeff Milson leading. Now, a total of 8,000 in flying condition. That is an amazing survival record for any sort of machine of that era. The youngest of these being over 70 years old. But it's testament partly to the simplicity of the design. We actually moved the wingtips of his top wing backwards, which gives it this distinctive swept look that you can see as they fly over us now from left to right in delta formation. That is perfect. Do I take a photograph? So, with a Tiger Moth, you can never do a perfect flight. There will always be something, some minute thing you haven't quite got right. And now, coming from right to left, in tribute to the Vulcan, which will be making its last appearance at our shows this season, this is the team in Vulcan shape. And braking. And now they'll turn sharply and charge towards one another. Like a pair of jousters of medieval times with their lances out in front of them. And they'll get close, but not too close. Four, diving, picking up speed to around 115 miles an hour for the box brake. And braking! That's quite close. by Jeff Norton. Then it's Tiger Tops at 74.
Thanks very much, Tim. Uh, great commentary and on an excellent display. Uh, six of the Diamond Nine. I'm told that we are expecting ten of the Diamond Nine tomorrow, so it doesn't do exactly what it says on the tin, but that was excellent. So, um, my name's Peter McNamara. I'm uh, helping...